Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to actress Erin Hayes, one of the stars of the new NBC sitcom Guys with Kids. She's one of the girls attached to the kids, alongside Jamie Lynn Siegler from The Sopranos and Tempest Bledsoe from The Cosby Show. Stick around, because none of that matters as much as I'm finally talking to Erin Hayes, co star of the brilliant but short lived Worst Week. Woohoo! This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, brought to you today by the Stitcher app for mobile devices. Give it a test drive today at stitcher.com slash mrmedia, Mr. Media. I love this free radio app, and I think you will too. Stitcher.com slash mrmedia. Mr. Media is recorded live before a studio audience of my immediate family, the only people I know outside of Kyle Bornheimer's mother and sister who loved Worst Week as much as I did, in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. I know that NBC wants me to talk about its new sitcom, Guys with Kids, but I can't get there without telling you first how much I enjoyed one of its stars, Erin Hayes, in her breakthrough work on the brilliant but canceled comedy, Worst Week. Now, you probably never saw that show, but it was incredibly funny and remarkably innovative in its storytelling. Each episode packed what would have been several weeks' worth of gags on another show into a single, wacky episode. Which brings us to Aaron Hayes, who played Melanie, the long-suffering fiancé of Kyle Bornheimer's klutzy, bad-luck-suffering Sam. Everything these two touched went hysterically wrong. They were the perfect TV couple. While I suspect the show was built as a vehicle for Kyle, who's been a two-time guest here, by the end of its run, Aaron Hayes was every bit a star and a treat for the eyes and ears. Ironically, these two actors have been cast in a number of wonderful but doomed comedies over the years, including Perfect Couples for him and Kitchen Confidential for her. Now, Kitchen Confidential, uh, incidentally, launched the career of a guy you might have heard of, Bradley Cooper, star of the Hangover movies. Which got me thinking. Bradley Cooper may have gotten his stardust from Aaron Hayes. What makes me think that? Well, another Hangover star, Ken Jeong, was still better known as a real-life MD before his appearances on Worst Week, which starred Aaron Hayes. It's wonderful to see the beautiful and talented Aaron Hayes back in action on Guys With Kids, Wednesdays at 8.30 on NBC. Aaron Hayes, welcome to Mr. Media. Hi. Hi. Hi, thank you for having me. Delighted to get you here. Uh, we'd hope to get you during Worst Week's run, but we're happy to get you now. <laughs> yeah. So Well, quite a few years in between, but I know. Uh, I've been waiting. I've just been here waiting. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And, yeah. I, you know, I, I probably went on too long about Worst Week, but I really, I really thought it was a pretty special season that year. Was that a good show for no, you? No, I don't think you went on too long at <laughs> all. I thought that, that show was amazing. I would have done that show for... 10, 20 years. Um, I loved everything about it and the, the cast and the, the producers and our crew. It was really a dream job, um, and I'm still pretty close with most people involved. Well, and so I was kind of, I was kind of thinking about that, and I was wondering, uh, I'd love to know what your ex-TV husband, Sam, would have thought about seeing you date Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the opening episode of Guys with Kids. I, I mean, talk about feel, making a guy feel inadequate. Yeah, but at the same time, I think he was the type of character that he would have been like, babe, babe, go for it. Can I come on a date? Can I come? Can it just be the three of us? And then, you know, hijinks and hilarity would ensue. Probably true, right? Probably true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've been, uh, you've been cast in a lot of shows, um, which is a good thing, and which suggests to me yeah. that, that you're one of those actors that, some, that, that there are network execs who know – that you are going to catch on big with audience at some point. What do you think is the perfect type of vehicle for your talent? Oh, well, that's very sweet to think that in the first place. Um, I mean, I, I, I know things that I would like to do, and I know things that I have gotten to, to have had the opportunity to do, um, I am, you know, I'm always looking for a good comedy. I enjoy a good comedy. I enjoy good TV. Uh, and I think it's one of those things where comedy, you can stand out a little bit more if, if it's the right kind of show, you know, like a drama. Like, 
I don't know that I want to cry about dead babies every week <laughs> right, or, right. Um, you know, like really have to be like, well, you know, it was a, I don't know, like the, the people that had to do tons of monologues of dialogue of exposition and giving information. I like the set. I like comedy stuff. So I'm happy to have landed on NBC with guys with kids. Uh, it's a really, it's a fun show and hopefully that will be something that does something good for me. Mm-hmm. Well, and you, you've had quite an NBC connection. I mean, what, uh, Worst Week was actually owned by NBC. You've done uh, par- yeah. Parenthood, uh, Guys with Kids is an NBC show. Uh, yeah, I did a uh, pilot for them a few years ago that didn't go. Um, I do. I, I like NBC. They've been good to me. So I guess it comes back to my earlier question. Is there someone who's, you know, who's kind of looking out for you there at NBC, or is it all co- coincidental? I mean, Kitchen Confidential was NBC, too, I think. That's right, it was. Huh? We filmed over at Fox, so I sometimes forget those things. But, well, they've always been good to me. There's a, there's a couple executives over there that, um, Grace Wu and Renata Radford, who uh, have helped me out along, I think, been my friends in those rooms after you go in and audition pushing for me so hopefully yeah well let me ask you uh, about the pilot uh, of guys with kids which folks uh, can still see uh, it's it's online at nbc.com slash guys with kids yeah. um the first episode it kind of introduced you a little bit of a, a, as a harpy i thought which which i thought was kind of unfortunate but they seem to soften you up a little bit uh, at the end of the episode. Where does your character's story go in the weeks to come? Yeah, you know, they're actually, uh, and for lack of a better actory term, they are taking my character on a journey. <laughs> um, she does, she starts out, she's a little harsh, you know, she starts out a little harsh, and which is fun to play. It's definitely, as an actor, fun to be the person that not everybody likes, Mm -hmm. you get to do more. It opens up more, I think, in terms of the comedy than being the understanding girlfriend does. Um, But they are softening her a bit because I don't think you can have a character on every single week that people just hate. Um, She's The way I'm looking at her is she is this person who likes control. She's a lawyer. She's a type A person who now is completely floundering and out of control because she's kind of failed at at marriage. And um, so she's making those kind of mistakes. Sorry, I just saw a cat catch a mouse in my backyard. That was awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's happening here live. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> There's this cat that thinks it lives in our house and it just nailed a mouse. Wow. Oh, wow. See, we've got to do more, right? these, gotta do more um, video interviews, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's no, but I, I, I'm excited for what they've been doing with my character because she still gets to be, um, she still gets to be kind of fun and, and she says things that are a little mean, but uh, we're, we're finding the fun in it. Well, I see. Uh, Where, yeah. I'm, I was going to say, tonight's episode uh, looks like, uh, Susan Sarandon's daughter is uh, going out with yes. uh, with your ex on the show. How uh, how was she to work with? She was lovely. She's a she's so nice, and I think very funny in this episode. She plays yeah Chris's new girlfriend who doesn't remember that she used to date um, the character of Nick, hmm. which is Chris's best friend, <laughs> and he's and he gets very um, upset about the fact that he's not memorable. So it was a it's a fun episode. And I get to just kind of pop in this one. I just pop in and I keep breaking into his apartment with the keys that are for emergencies. Well, I, speaking of memorable, I, I'm, maybe this will be the last thing I get to ask you, but I, I noticed that the hmm. women on the show, I think most people can name all of the women on the show, and probably more so than the guys on the show who are in the title of the show. Um, can, well, I think, yeah. I mean, we've got... Um, Meadow Soprano, Jamie Lynn Sigler, right. and Vanessa Huxtable from The Cosby Show, and then, um, you know, and then Aaron Hayes. Um, well, no. I mean, so uh, I think the two of them, I mean, they've played these, like, iconic parts. And right. It's fun to see uh, Tempest back in a sitcom, and for Jamie, she does amazing. You know, we're used to seeing her in this gritty, 
bloody drama, and now she's doing light, fun sitcom comedy, and she's great at it. I noticed that. I, I you know, I saw her in uh, when she was on Entourage for about a season and a half, I guess, and it seemed right. there that she was playing more meto soprano. But here, she's definitely playing a very different character. And yeah, she's a, she's a she's like the cool she's the cool mom. She's the cool girlfriend that you want. I know those parts very well. Um, she's the relatable, like. The, the the chick dudes want to marry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying anything here. I'm already married. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I think you would top that list of the three of you, though. I just want you to know. Oh, thank you. But I am married. Uh, folks, <laughs> you can see actress Erin Hayes. There you go. In Guys with Kids every Wednesday this fall, 8.30 p.m. on NBC. Erin, can folks find you on uh, – do you do yeah. Twitter or Facebook, any of that stuff? Yes, I am on Twitter. My handle is Hayes Lady, and then I am also on um, Adult Swim's Children Hospital, which airs Thursday at midnight on the Cartoon Network. And which just won an Emmy. Congratulations! Which just won an Emmy. I know we won an <laughs> Emmy for poop jokes and pissing on the floor. <laughs> Well, listen, Erin, it was delightful to talk to you. I hope we'll get the chance again. And, and thank yeah. you so much for being on Mr. Media today. Yeah, thank you. Take care. You too. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. You can see and hear almost a thousand Mr. Media interviews by visiting our main site, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. Or check out the more than 200 video interviews on the Mr. Media radio site on YouTube. And I'd sure appreciate it if you'd show some love for Mr. Media's advertisers, including Stitcher. Apple named Stitcher a top five news app of 2011. It's a free mobile app for your smartphone or tablet that lets you listen to your favorite shows and discover the best of news, entertainment, and sports on demand. You can listen whenever you want to to more than 5,000 shows, get customized recommendations, and discover what your friends are listening to. My own list of Stitcher favorites is pretty eclectic. I start my day with an hour of MSNBC's Morning Joe with Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. Then, it's the latest two-minute update from the Onion News Network. After that, I'll listen to WTF with Mark Marin. Here's The Thing with Alec Baldwin, HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, and excerpts from E's Chelsea Lately and The Soup with Joel McHale. Also in regular rotation on my Stitcher playlist, The BS Report with ESPN's Bill Simmons, The Tech Crunch Headlines, and The Don Geronimo Show. The latest episodes of each show, whether originating from broadcasts, cable TV, radio syndication, or podcasts, are continuously updated. Stitcher is a free app for your iPhone, iPad, Kindle, Fire, Blackberry, Droid, and more. And show your support of Mr. Media by getting, did I mention it's free? The app at stitcher.com slash mrmedia. That's stitcher.com slash mrmedia. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. We're also supported by Audible. Check out Audible's 30-day trial membership and download the audiobook version of the book everyone's been talking about, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Sign up for your free trial today at audible.com slash radio. Again, audibletrial.com slash radio. And finally, if you need a disc jockey for a wedding, bar mitzvah, corporate event, or just a big old party... Please consider calling 1 800 Dial DJs, the party authority, for all your party entertainment needs. You can call 1 800 Dial DJs or go to their website, 1 800 Dial DJs.com, and tell them Mr. Media sent you. And thanks for listening. Hi, this is Mark Margolis. I played T.O. on Breaking Bad. And if you don't start listening to Mr. Media, I'm going to have to ding my bell.